and welcome to the most amazing corner of the internet. I'm your most amazing host Rebecca Felgate and today we're talking all about the top 10 secrets that cops don't want you to know. Before we get right on into that, I just want to ask all of you who are new here to subscribe to our channel and of course please all do hit that thumbs up button and leave us a comment. If you're lucky, me, Danny or Landon may even reply. So it seems appropriate to start number 10 off with the 10 codes. The 10 codes is a list of codes used by the United States law enforcement. They all start with 10. So you may for example have heard an officer say 10-4 which means yes I understand. You actually aren't supposed to know what they mean, they are a means of communication without civilian understanding. For example 10 0 means officer down and 10 one means homicide. Coming in at number 9, they run background checks on people without their consent. Have you guys ever dated a cop or had a cop as a family member? Chances are they ran a background check on you long before you became serious. Police have access to a lot of sensitive non-public information. If a police officer wants to know about me and my history, they could easily find out. If your dad's a cop and they don't like your new friend, guess what they're going to be doing? Despite not being allowed to research people without an investigative reason, they do. Like. Often. Coming in at number 8, there is a difference between a request and an order. Police officers sometimes deliberately confuse people and it makes their job easier if you don't know your rights. Often police officers do not want you to know that there is a key difference between a request and an order. A request you can decline, an order you must comply with. There are a few circumstances where police officers can legally order you to do something, so it's worth clarifying whether or not an instruction is a request or an order. Coming in at number 7, they purposefully try to trick you with leading questions. For example, a police officer may ask if you've had anything to drink. You legally do not need to answer this. Obviously you must always be polite and respectful but you can say, respectfully officer, I do not have to answer that. They could also try saying things like, if you've got nothing to hide, you won't mind if I look around. Again, you don't have to consent to this. Coming in at number 6, they actually do make terrible mistakes. In February 2017, a police blunder made headlines when officers in Cumbria, UK blew up a man's car. A man fell ill and kind hearted officers parked his car outside their station for safekeeping, although unfortunately they failed to communicate this with their colleagues who thought the car was suspicious. They called the bomb squad, the car was blown up, it was all very awkward. Their mates in Barrow though had loads of Twitter bants about it. Of course this is a slightly more laughable balls up, but the police have been known to make worse mistakes in the past. Coming in at number 5, they cannot search your car without a warrant. I guess most people know that a police officer can't come into your home without a warrant, but what some people don't know is that they cannot search your car under usual circumstances, nor can they search you. If a police officer pulls you over, they can look in the windows of your car, but they cannot search it unless they have reasonable and probable grounds to believe that there are illegal drugs or alcohol or evidence relating to the commission of a crime. If they don't have this reasonable or probable grounds, they can't search your car. So get out of here. Coming in at number 4, they cannot stop search you unless you're under arrest. A police officer cannot search you at random. The only way they can is if you are under arrest or you consent to be searched. Now, don't let them trick you into letting them search you. Three exceptions apply to this. If police find you in a place that they're searching for drugs and believe that you have some, or if they find you in a vehicle where people are drinking illegally, or if they believe you have an illegal weapon, then they can search you. If it's outside of any of those circumstances, you can just say no. Coming in at number three, you can legally film police. Although of course many would prefer if you didn't, filming a police officer is not against the law. There have been some insane pieces of footage of officers losing it when bystanders have recorded them, but you should know that this is not a criminal offence. Building on that at number 2, they also cannot seize your phone, they absolutely can't. Also if they take issue with something you've recorded, they can't delete it or ask you to delete it. Bear that in mind. Finally, coming in at number one, many complaints against police officers are destroyed. In 2016, hackers breached a US law enforcement union's website and they found that police unions were barring public access to past civilian complaints. Now, in some cases, these records were even destroyed. There was also incriminating evidence to back up the Black Lives Matter campaigns accusing the police of sabotaging misconduct investigations. So all in all, actually, the police are kind 
kind of corrupt. So that was the top 10 secrets cops don't want you to know. Did you already know some of these? Do you have anything else to add to this list? Let me know in the comments section below. For now this list has very much made me want some coffee and donuts because stereotypes never die. Gimme! Thank you guys for watching this video, I'm your most amazing host Rebecca Felgate. If you liked it make sure you give it a good thumbs up, share it with a friend who needs to know about the police today and stay subscribed to Most Amazing. <laughs>